Alright guys, so I am currently sitting in the parking lot of the Lancaster Community Aid Thrift Store. I've never been to this Community Aid location. Today is Wednesday, which is half off day. I don't typically have off on Wednesdays, but I have off today. So Eric and I decided to stop at a couple of Community Aids and just check out half off day because normally he's the one shopping on Wednesday half off day. Uh, there is like they're not allowing uh, video cameras anymore in their store um so <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes go i plan on taking my camera inside so if i happen to get kicked out of here i mean it's no big loss i'll just go down the street to salvation army but uh yeah, I am curious to see what they have here since I've never been. Um, it seems fairly big, maybe not as large as the one uh, in Hanover, but we're going to check it out and see what they got. There was definitely something on the door, the door. about not no recording. Camera. Yeah, so, but you know. It's a matter of time, guys. It's a matter of time. Okay, so these, is this their purses or is this more like luggage? This looks like more like luggage and backpack. We don't want luggage. I wish I wanted luggage. <laughs> Go on vacation. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, we gotta we gotta keep an eye out for him. Oh, I'm oblivious. Look, we walked into. <laughs> You can tell we haven't been here before. We walked into the waiting line for the, uh... Gosh, are we gonna get to look at anything? I feel like walking a mile. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking a mile just to get to something to look there at. There you go. You got boots, you got purses. Boots and purses. They hang theirs here, too. We saw them hanging at the one in York. Let's check the wallet situation. Teenage Mutant and Eric started walking up towards me and I'm like, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Why do I hear a walkie talk? I don't know. Gosh, doesn't look like they have many shoes. Look how, how bare, bare the shelves are. It's a pair of Michael Kors. Wait, is that how they put price tags on the shoes here? They write them on? No. So they went. $30 for them, but that's a red tag, so it's not 50% off. It's shaped like a little Christmas stocking. It's cute. What's that made by? BZ's. Never heard of it before. Oh wow, check these out. Liliana? Those are funky. Why is the price tag like... Someone took the price tag off of it. It's kind of weird. I don't know where Eric got to. Talbot flat. on those. They're sparkly. Eric found this B. Mikowski purse before I could. It is <laughs> It's nine, $9.99 so it'd be about like five. So I think I'm gonna get it. It's a cute little like crossbody. I'll just put it over my shoulder. What's this one? Bagalini. I've sold that brand before. Bagalini. $12.99. I 
I feel like I have that or had that at some point. It's just like one of those free gifts with purchase type things. What's that Mickey bag back there? It feels pretty good. Does it feel good? It does feel alright. Is that made by? I like Disney stuff. Made by it Disney. It is by Disney. But it's not from like the Disney parks or anything like that. There's no like other tag in it. That's the no, only just tag. Disney, no, there's right? another tag here. Hold on. What's it say? No, it's just made in China by Tri Coastal Design. We'll say nay to that. It needs to be just a little bit nicer for me. Playing Christmas music already. What's that? Terrible, that's what it is. It's terrible. <laughs> it's just terrible. These are Temptations. I just bought a whole, well Eric bought for me, a whole Temptations um, set at Goodwill. Casserole dishes. Yeah, I'm going to use them at Christmas because they're all green. So I think they'll just be really nice Christmas dishes to put in like mashed potatoes and all that good stuff. It's an old milk glass jar. This is pretty. Looking for them astros. There's a, what do you call those things? Um, Jugs? Growlers. Growlers, yeah that's, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, there's a kitty cat. So precious. Like, oh, that's pretty. It is. I didn't realize there was something in here. I thought they were trying to sell like a little pail for two ninety nine, but there's something in there. What's that say? Sweets. Sweets. Not is that I... leather? That's it just is. like on there? Huh. Maybe that's someone's nickname, possibly? It's not something I would expect it to say. What do you put in here? Vodka. <laughs> Maybe check it out. Oh my gosh, what's that one say? Someone, someone donated all of their brewing. That's a pretty cool thing. growler, though. That one actually has a top to it. The other one didn't. It it's got like a, like a happy drunk guy. Oh my guy. gosh, yeah, the handle. That's yeah. cool. I mean, it's neat. That handle is yeah, cool. Yeah, that is cool. That's a cool handle. He's just having it's not a, a, cheap growler. a jolly good time there. What are all these? They all have like prints on them. It's like a whole set of them. A whole collection. There's so much stuff like hiding in here. I know. But I'm having gonna, a hard time holding this purse. Take the purse. <laughs> it keeps slipping off my uh, shoulder because of my sweater on here. I ain't scared to carry it. Oh, purse. what's down here? See, I'm not even like seeing what's down here because the shelf's kind of burying it all. It's a whole thing of. Oh, I thought it was pencils or flashcards. Bugs, two for 99 cents. Wow, they must be having a hard time getting rid of them. Well, <laughs> yeah. Bugs. Crazy. Yeah, not everyone's always looking for bugs. Hey, hey, hey. I want this. Hey, <laughs> check this out. It's a candle, but it looks like a little drink. Oh, and even has a straw in there. How cute. What is that? A pepper container. What, yeah, what, what would you put in there? Because you ain't storing peppers in it. <laughs> Pe pepper related trinkets? Pepper related trinkets. All right. I guess that works. Is there a problem? No. I guess finding pepper related trinkets would be your biggest problem. I bet you could. I, I'm sure you could. In the world of thrifting, anything is possible. Like, finding 
Yeah, those are wild. <laughs> Is those that supposed to be Santa Claus and Mrs. Santa on big fish fishing? They're candlesticks. People buy the weirdest things. They do. I mean, <laughs> I'm guilty of it too. Also, like this weird little cat thing. Oh, they're drawers. I couldn't tell how you opened it. That's to put ice in when you have a boo boo. Avon light up. All right, let's keep I don't really like Avon. There's only certain Avon stuff that I like. All right, we're at the high end, <laughs> brand new rack. Okay, we got London Fog. I see this brand absolutely in every thrift store. Yeah, I can't get rid of it. $54.99. Now, there was one good thing back here. This is a spider jacket. Those are pricey, but they weren't $74.99 for it. It's not red tag though, is it? It's not red oh, tag. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised too. They must have missed that one. They must. They must have missed that one, that's all I can think, because... Hey, Towncraft is now high-end. Towncraft, Eric says, is now high-end. High yeah. <laughs> this is all like their high-end stuff, I guess. Even the ties, do they consider... No, the ties aren't considered high-end. Hagger is high-end. When it feels like one of those... Fabric-y. Ooh, suspenders. These ones have little lucky clovers on. Should probably get the rainbow one. Do they need to be a brand one? I don't think necessarily. Right. Oh, there's a bunch of dresses I want to look through. These are all smalls. I don't really like looking at the smalls in all honesty because I think smalls have a harder time selling for me. So I like to go to medium and up, but um, what is it? How much is it? What size is it? It's a small. Um, I was just telling Eric that I personally don't really like shopping in communities because I don't. They're not as fun. Like I don't consider community aid a thrift store. It's more like a department store not just necessarily with prices um though some of the prices are really high but i feel like they price all of their really good stuff super high so it's not as fun because you don't really stumble upon a lot of like diamonds in the rough because i feel like there's someone back there who's pricing stuff and they have like a list of name brands <laughs> that they know to put aside to put in like their high-end section but and it's just it's not as fun yes they, things get missed they, they don't, don't know, they don't know, they don't know everything that's true game. i like looking at the pajamas um sometimes i have found that there's actual clothing mixed in with the pajamas so that's one reason i like to look um and then obviously if i find anything nice whether that be for me <laughs> or not. Yesterday at work, we had to make little pumpkins and write down what we were thankful for. And I wrote that I was thankful for cozy pajamas. So that's what I'm looking for right now. Some, some more cozy pajamas. There's a you lot decide. to go through. Eric found these you fairy decide. top cider wedge loafers. What size are they? Good question. Eight, medium. It's pretty average. You said they'd be about three dollars, right? Yeah. Three dollars. I guess we'll get them. So I found another, I feel like I'm finding this brand everywhere now, the Joseph Ribhoff. Um, it's made of this really funky, funky material. And I felt behind it was another one, but that one's actually made by another company. But it's just definitely crazy feeling. I love how it feels. But yeah, I'm obviously going to get that. And Eric found a Pendleton little jacket. I don't know if I like this one as much as my other one. That's cute, though. It's like a crop jacket. What size is that? That looks so tiny. It says 12. 
but... Is that like a little kid? Size 12. Wow, it looks so small. You decide on that one. I got the plaid one down there. How much would this be? It'd be five, five bucks. bucks. You're like, hmm. Just needs... Only thing, it just needs picked. So I'm just going to finish here looking through the textile. I still sometimes am looking for uh, those tapestry blankets that I found that one other time. Is that an, a skirt? That's just a women's skirt right here in the linen section. <laughs> Maybe they thought it was an apron or something. Barney pillowcases. seeing a whole lot that's popping out at me. I got a ton of stuff. I started with a shopping basket and then I had to switch to a cart. Um, so I think I'm ready to check out. We still have a lot of places to go yet today and I'm already spending a lot of money. So let's go get in line and see what I got. So I am ready to share my community aid haul with you guys. I spent $53.51 and this was Wednesday half off day. So you can imagine what I would have spent had it not been half off day. I will say before I do share this uh, haul, um, for me community aid, it's not as fun shopping there as it is to shop at what I consider more thrift stores like Goodwill, Salvation Army, that kind of thing. I feel like shopping at Community Aid is a lot like shopping in a regular store. Um, it's just not as fun because they really like they separate all of their more expensive stuff into like a whole other part of the store nowadays. So it's kind of like they have to have a list or something back in their back room while they're pricing things uh, to like price these more expensive stuff at a higher price and then set it out in the high end section of the store. So it's like coming across high end items, they're just, you know, like when you're out thrifting and you randomly stumble upon stuff like that, it's fun. It makes the whole shopping experience that much more fun, just like stumbling upon things. Whereas at Community Aid, everything is already priced high and stuck in like a certain section of the store. And it honestly makes no sense as to what they consider high end. I saw Clark's shoes in their high end section and just things that like I saw in their high end section, but also seen like cheap cheaper priced like on the regular shelves. So there's really no, no rhyme or reason to that. Um, and then there's things that I find like this B. Mikowski purse. This was not in the high end section, which kind of surprises me. So they don't necessarily know absolutely every brand or anything like that. So you can still stumble upon nice things, but it's just not my favorite thrift store to shop at because it's just not as fun in my opinion. Um, so, and Quite frankly, I don't like going there except on half off days because the prices are really high. And I work on Wednesdays, which is half off day. So, you know, it just doesn't work out. But it, it did today and I did find some things. So the first thing was this B. Mikowski purse. And Eric actually found this because oh, he was shocked me in front of me. <laughs> but he did find it and it is just this bronze cross body bag. But it does also have this like thick chain link handle so you could kind of carry it like this with just like the strap um hanging down or obviously wear it crossbody but it's just a bronze metallic color and they had it priced at $9.99 which I thought was a reasonable price it's in really nice condition the inside has a leopard lining um, and it's very, very clean in there. So I honestly don't really think it was used much, if at all. So that was a nice find. I did really like that. Um, I love crossbody bags. I would maybe possibly keep this, but it's not like a color I really would 
wear a lot, so I do plan on selling that. We did only find, and I think Eric found these as well, he found a lot of things today. Uh, these Sperry wedges, and these are also in really nice condition. They're just brown, kind of loafers, but they have a wedge heel to them. So those we will be selling, and they were marked $5.99. And I believe these are size eight. So we got those. I did pick up two scarves. The first one, I mean, look at how lovely this print is. Isn't that gorgeous with those colors, the green and the pink and the orange? So this, you can tell, is older. And it is just by the brand Totes, but it is marked as a rain scarf. So it's water repellent. So you would wear this, like, over your head, in your hair, um when it's raining outside so as to not get your hair do wet. So I thought that was just so super pretty. So I do plan on selling that. I just loved the print and I really think like with scarves, prints are, you know, something that you should definitely like look for when you're looking at scarves because it seems to be like the brighter the print, the nicer the print, the more likely it'll sell kind of thing. And then Eric picked up this one. It is by someone named Sally G, G-E-E. -E. And it is purple with this funky kind of, I don't know if you want to call that geometric print. But it is rectangular. I'm not sure what it's made out of. It doesn't feel like silk to me. Um, but he said he looked it up and um, it looked like it was it had good um, solds, this brand, especially, like I said, uh, based on prints and stuff like that. So he decided to get that one. So I do need to wash that one because I did see a couple marks on. It looks like makeup, possibly. Um, probably someone wearing it like around their head and got some like makeup marks on it. But they had that one marked at $2.99. I'm not sure what... The other scarf was marked at, it was probably marked at $2.99 as well. Um, but I'm honestly not sure. Uh, let's see, we did get two scar, or yeah, scars. We did get two ties. Uh, the first one is this green one by Christian Dior. And it's just green with these, oh, what do you call those things? They're not flowers. Oh, uh, I'm not sure exactly what you would call them, but just shapes on it. will go with shapes. That's not how I'll put it in my, my auction, but <laughs> we'll go with shapes for now. And then this one here, and this one's by, let's just say YSL. So we got that as well. 95% polyester and 3% silk. So not entirely silk on that one. And we just got those. Uh, let's see. I like looking in the nightgown area. Sometimes I find stuff over there to sell. Um, one thing being Vintage Victoria's Secret. I like Vintage Victoria's Secret. Not all of it's really worth anything, but if I find something semi-interesting, I'll usually pick it up. And I did find these, um, vintage pajama shorts, and I just thought these were so pretty and they just look so comfortable. So they're just this pale, almost yellow color with a floral design. And one of the ways you can tell it's vintage Victoria's Secret is looking at the tag. Like that's obviously not a tag you've seen in a while. So I do plan on selling these. They have an elastic waist, um, size small. They just feel really, really nice. So. I probably would get more if these had like a matching cami or something that went with them, but I just decided to pick those up. And then while I was over there, I found a pair for myself. I just got these floral ones to wear to bed in the summertime. They have like a little lace um, on the bottoms there. And these are just by uh, Marilyn Monroe Intimates. So I have another pair of these like silky feeling pajama shorts from that same brand I got at a rummage sale and I absolutely love them. So I got 
another pair for summertime to sleep in. And then we got some clothes. So we'll go through the clothes. I'll let you know what I picked out and what Eric picked out. So Eric picked out this one. And this is a women's Nike Golf striped tank top. So I'll probably list this now, but it might not sell until closer to, you know, the weather getting nicer. Then I got two of these Bowden black blazers. They are slightly different. This one still has like the little tag that has the extra buttons. So this one was priced at $12.99. These are so incredibly nice feeling. So these would be perfect for, um, you know, someone who has to wear dressy uh, clothes to work kind of thing. Sometimes I wish I had to dress up nice to go to work and other times I'm glad I don't have to go through that hassle every day of my life. <laughs> Just jeans and a t-shirt for me. So I got those and well here's the other one. So it looks very well similar but there's just slight ever so slight differences to it. Um, one being like the inner liner. Uh, but they are the same size and for whatever reason this one was priced cheaper at $6.99. I don't know if it's because the other one had like the extra buttons um, attached to it. I don't know but I thought those were a good find. They're like really 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 nice blazers. Then this here we pretty much both found this at the same time. It is a Woolrich jacket. And this one was marked at $14.99. It's kind of a green color, but it's got this floral print all over. And it's got like a heavy type of denim material is how I would describe that fabric. So some Woolrich sells really well. It just, it depends on what it is. Um, I was intrigued, well, we were both intrigued by the print on this. It was different, um, interesting, pretty, so we just decided to try that one. This too, we kind of both found at the same time. It is a Pendleton wool purple coat. I like this one because I really like the buttons on it and it's shorter, so I don't really know what you'd call this. I kept wanting to call it a cape coat, but I really don't know if like that is even such, like if that's even a term, I'm not even sure, but I really liked this one. So that one was priced at $9.99. And then Eric also picked up this Pendleton blazer. This one was priced at $6.99. And he said, he was interested in this one because of the color, because it's not just like a plain solid color. There's actually like some purple and yellow uh, blue to it, and it's got a plaid print as well. So, got that. Then also this Chico's jacket. I loved the colors on this, the black, the red, and the white. I do like to pick up Chico's and uh, again, it just depends on what it looks like. I'm more into picking up stuff that's kind of like more unique, interesting, has kind of loud, more bolder prints and colors. Um, but I still wouldn't pass on solid color, especially like the Bowdens. I mean, they're just solid black blazers, but they're really, really nice quality. So I decided to pick up this Chico's jacket. It does have a couple stray uh threads that need to be snipped but otherwise it's in really good condition and it was marked at $5.99 which I thought was a good price to be marked at. So got that and then the last jacket that I got and this I swear I'm finding this brand like everywhere I go lately. The Joseph Ribkoff and I just love picking up um, the stuff I find by this brand because it's always just such fun prints, very, like I said, loud, bold prints and colors. So this one was marked at $7.99. And just look at that. Like that is like a work of art. And it's made of this material that's kind of, almost has like a shiny kind of look to it. It's so interesting to me. So I had to pick that up. Can't wait to list that one. 
So that is everything for the community aid haul. So $53 and we got all of that stuff. Um, they don't allow you to record anymore in their store. There are signs and they, I'm assuming, are at all of the community aid stores. I've only been to the one in Lancaster since I think this has really gone into effect. So, but the signs were there. Uh, so I was trying to do my recording kind of undercover in hopes that I wouldn't get caught because I didn't necessarily like, like I'm not looking to get kicked out of the thrift store, but in all honesty, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if it happened because like I said, it's not my favorite thrift store to shop at. So I hope you guys still enjoyed it. I still do plan on going to community aid and checking out their stuff like when I can get there and you know i'll try to still have videos but uh i can't say that'll always be the case if i ever do get caught i'm not quite sure what they'll do i don't know if they will kick me out and ban me or just simply you know say i can't record and you know have to just stop recording i really don't know like what the repercussions are of such a thing <laughs> but i mean maybe we'll find out someday i don't know uh but i hope you guys enjoyed the haul and i will see you next time